the sequels to popular franchises, epic fantasy, inventive horror, and more in today's issue. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got the top 10 most popular IMDb rated movies for you. And keep in mind, it's not just the digital releases, but the current top list of popular films. Paraphrasing, something on the list hasn't appeared on streaming yet, but is still in theaters. So this video is at least a reason to update your list of anticipated titles. And I've got a lot more interesting videos for you, so feel free to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Make yourselves comfortable and have a great time watching. Evil Dead Rise is the latest installment in the iconic horror franchise. The movie follows two sisters and their children who accidentally unleash a horde of flesh-eating demons after discovering a mysterious book in their apartment building. Directed by Lee Cronin, the movie offers a fresh and exciting take on the series by moving the action from the woods to the city. The film features some impressive practical effects, inventive gore, and nods to the previous films. It also explores themes of motherhood and family. As the sisters must work together to protect their children from evil forces, the movie's strong cast should also be mentioned. While the film lacks humor and has a predictable plot, it remains a fun and satisfying horror experience for fans of the series and newcomers alike. It proves that there is still life in the Evil Dead, striking a balance between gore, humor, and heart. Ghosted is a romantic action comedy film that tells the story of Cole, a farmer, and a CIA agent Sadie, who fall in love while on a mission to stop a bioweapon from falling into the wrong hands. Chris Evans and Ana de Armas have natural chemistry and charisma, and the engaging plot mixes comedy, adventure, and espionage. However, the movie has some drawbacks, including a recycled formula, predictable plot twists, and a lack of originality. Looks like any other generic action comedy. The story follows a familiar pattern, with the main character stumbling into danger and becoming targeted. In addition, some of the plot twists are easy to figure out or have been seen before. Overall, it is a fun and lighthearted movie that provides some escapism. Fans of Chris Evans, Ana de Armas, or romantic action comedies should give it a look. A feel-good movie to enjoy. The Super Mario Bros. movie is a delightful and vibrant animated film based on the popular video game franchise. The plot follows the adventures of two brothers, Mario and Luigi, who are transported to the Mushroom Kingdom where they must rescue Princess Peach from the evil King Bowser. The directors of the movie bring humor and warmth. The movie has stunning animation, captivating music, and accurate depiction of the game world. Among the disadvantages is the excessive fan service, although for some, this will only be a plus. But there are exciting action scenes, touching moments, and an unexpected cameo at the end. It's one of the biggest premieres of the year and a must-see for fans of the franchise and fans of animation. If you are looking for a bold and disturbing movie to watch, Bo is Afraid is a must-see. Written and directed by Ari Aster, the movie stars Joaquin Phoenix as Bo, a paranoid man who embarks on an epic journey to get home after receiving devastating news. Along the way, Bo encounters horrors and mysteries that test his sanity and will to live. One of the film's strongest points is Phoenix's outstanding performance. Other notable aspects of the movie include the stunning cinematography, the haunting score, and the shocking twists. As expected, the movie has an excessive length, confusing plot, and lack of humor. Bo is Afraid is a movie that will not appeal to everyone, but it is worth watching for fans of Ari Aster's previous works and horror lovers in general. The movie challenges you to confront your deepest fears and darkest secrets. Scream 6 is a good old-fashioned thriller that continues the iconic slasher franchise. The film follows the survivors of the Ghostface murders as they leave Woodsboro and start a new life in New York City. But their past haunts them when a new killer appears, targeting them and their friends. This is a sequel that respects the original films and adds new twists and surprises. The film combines humor, suspense, and brutality, and explores themes of traumatic experience. Surprisingly, no special attention has been paid to this in the characters so far. There are quite a few fan references, all executed with an understanding of the franchise. The strong cast is also praised, especially the outstanding performance of Courtney Cox as Gail Weathers. The on-screen chemistry between Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega is equally effective. However, the predictability of the plot cannot be avoided. There are also logical gaps, small plot holes that can undermine the credibility of some scenes. Nothing critical, but particularly picky viewers will notice them. All in all, Scream 6 is a fun and exciting slasher that doesn't forget the previous films and adds new characters and storylines. I'm sure it will appeal to loyal fans and newcomers alike. 
John Wick 4 is a crime action film directed by Chad Stahelski and starring Keanu Reeves as Wick, the legendary assassin. The film continues the saga of Wick, who becomes the target of the high table after breaking its rules and killing one of its members. The film expands the world of John Wick, introducing new locations, characters, and factions, as well as bringing back familiar faces and plot elements. We are told how Wick will find a way to defeat the high table and gain his freedom. There are clashes with new enemies, encounters with powerful allies and old friends. The new John Wick contains scenes of graphic violence and bloodshed. Not that this should surprise anyone, but what if this review is seen by those who missed the previous Thoughts 3 films and decide to jump into the franchise from the fourth? The film is also not original in the sense that it follows the same formula and structure as all the previous films, but it boasts exciting action sequences directed by Stelsky and his team of stuntmen. John Wick 4 is a must-see for anyone who loves sharp thrillers. It is an intriguing and gripping film that delivers on all the trailer's promises of a non-stop and spectacular action movie. If you are in the mood for a war drama, Guy Ritchie's The Covenant may be the movie for you. The movie tells the story of two men struggling to survive after a deadly ambush in Afghanistan. While the movie has received mixed reviews, it has some outstanding features that make it worth watching. One of the film's strengths is its emotional core, showing how war affects not only the soldiers, but also their families and allies. The film pays tribute to the thousands of Afghan interpreters who have risked their lives to help U.S. forces, highlighting their courage, loyalty, and sacrifice. The movie also features some tense and thrilling action sequences. On the downside, some critics and viewers found the movie too simplistic, predictable, and sentimental. It lacks the meta-humor and self-awareness for which Ritchie is known, and it relies on cliches and stereotypes. While it is a departure from Ritchie's usual style of fast-paced, witty, and stylish crime capers, it is a sincere and respectful tribute to the fallen heroes. The best MCU trilogy and the best closing part, as already called in reviews, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is the final chapter in the Cosmic Adventure series, directed by James Gunn and starring a familiar and talented cast. The film is an emotional roller coaster packed with the action and humor fans have come to expect from the franchise. It explores themes of family, friendship, and redemption with heartwarming moments and unexpected twists. The movie relies heavily on nostalgia. Its strongest point is the chemistry and performances of its cast. They bring their characters to life and make the audience care about their relationships and the outcome of their journey. And finally, we learn about Rocket's past, a heartbreaking and touching story. Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is not as fun as other movies in the trilogy, but it provides a satisfying conclusion to the story and looks like a thunderous farewell gift from James Gunn. Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves is a fantasy adventure movie based on the popular role-playing game. The film follows a charming thief and a band of unlikely adventurers as they embark on an epic heist to recover a lost relic that can resurrect the dead. The film delivers the action and comedy fans have come to expect from the genre, with exciting set pieces, witty dialogue, and hilarious references. It explores themes of loyalty, friendship, and honor, with touching family moments and surprising twists. Dragons, elves, orcs, nat one wizards, and other fantasy creatures also make appearances. Some critics and viewers found it too simplistic, predictable, and cliched. The movie tries to juggle too many subplots and characters, some of which are underdeveloped or unnecessary. It also relies too much on fan service and Deus Ex Machina. But you know, as a fan of the setting and the universe, I loved it all. The strongest point of the movie is its cast and its chemistry. The actors give great performances and have a lot of fun with their roles. They make the audience care about their characters and their relationships. The graphics and effects are also amazing. I'm really disappointed that the movie didn't get more attention and make more money at the box office to get an immediate sequel and was sent to streaming early. Nefarious. It is a horror thriller about a psychiatrist who evaluates a serial killer who claims to be possessed by a demon named Nefarious. The movie is tense and disturbing, aiming to blur the line between reality and fantasy. It satisfies fans of the horror and suspense genres with gruesome scenes, an eerie atmosphere, and shocking twists. The movie also explores themes of evil, madness, and faith with psychological and theological implications. Some critics and viewers find it too predictable and cliched. The film relies too heavily on jump scares, gore, and cheap effects and suffers from poor editing. The movie's strongest points are its acting and direction. Flannery delivers a powerful and convincing performance as a tormented killer struggling with his inner demon. The movie also demonstrates directing skills by creating a sense of dread and suspense. If you're a fan of horror movies about demons and the supernatural, Nefarious is worth seeing. It may not be a masterpiece or a classic, but it is a decent and entertaining horror movie that tries to do something different, a satisfying and enjoyable thriller. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and click the buttons below the player. And see you in the next issue. Bye.